Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm excited to announce Wire Spy, a debug bar for LiveWire. I know it's not a wiretap um, that you might have seen during the launch of LiveWire 3. People have been asking for it uh, for a while. Um, I asked Caleb and he shelved the ID for the time being. So I asked if I could give it a go and he said, sure, go for it. So there we have it. Now we got Wire Spy, which is inspired by original version of wiretap uh, so it allows you to debug your live components it has hot loading it has event tracking it has state management history and more um, so let's dive in and take a look so i have this uh, fresh laravel app installed with livewire i have a counter component and all we have to do to get our debug bar installed is run a composer require wire elements, wire spy. Next, if we uh, go back to our website um, and refresh the page, we can see no difference, but actually there is. All we have to do is hit command L or control L um, to toggle the debug bar. So it's completely hidden by default. And once it opens up, you can see that we open up on the components tab on the left hand side you can see all the components which are rendered on the page and in this case we have our counter component so if we click it we get some more information so in the middle column we can see the data that is associated with this component as you can see the count is now set to zero now if we want to manipulate this data we can simply go here and change the value from zero to let's say five and as you can see, the component just got updated. And on the right hand side, we can see all the updates that are being performed to our component. Now I can also click the increase or decrease button. And on the right hand side, again, you'll see these updates being performed. And um, what's cool, we can even go back in time using the time travel feature. So let's say we want to travel back to the initial state. We simply click the clock icon and you can see that the value changed back to zero. Now that's an all. If we go to the events tab, we can see events that are being dispatched by this component. So if we click increase, you can see that we dispatch an increase event and vice versa when decreasing. We can also see the event data that is associated with the event. So we can actually see the count that is being logged. And if we hover over the component name, we can actually see the component being highlighted on the page. Finally, there's hot reloading. So if we switch this tab and hit enable hot reloading, we get now hot reloading out of the box without doing anything. Uh, it is going to monitor the components which are on the page and it's going to see whether the associated class or view is modified. So if we switch back to our editor and, like it, and let's make a change to our view, and let's save it. As you can see, it instantly updated, it hot reloaded, so the state is maintained, but the view got updated. So this is WireSpy. Uh, these are the initial features that are shipped in this beta release. Uh, there are still a ton of things that I would love to add, for example, uh, performance profiling, uh, request logging. Uh, there are a bunch of other things, uh, but I'm also happy to accept community contributions. So if you have an ID, feel free to submit it. If you want to contribute, submit a PR, even better. I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to what you guys think. Um, leave a comment below. And yeah, go try it out.